pull it to get it over there, I bet. We can spin the boat around if we have to. Nineteen months after the balls went down, the amount of life is absolutely amazing. I swear that wasn't my hand holding that octopus. The copper rockfish abound. At first we saw three and they were very small and now we see as many as a dozen and they're growing. There's so many perch I can't even count them. There's at least four different species. As you can see the visibility is much better today. The kelp goes up at least 20 feet off the seafloor and in a couple more months it'll probably start to reach the surface. There's another bat star. There's a shot on the inside. We counted 47 juvenile California rock scallops. 47 on two reef balls. That is absolutely incredible. That means on a full size fish reef, we're gonna have over 60,000 scallops and they will all scrub the water. A full size scallop will scrub up to 20 gallons an hour of water. They'll actually clean the water. There's a Johnny Bass. Hey, Johnny, what's up, man? You gonna go hang out at your reef ball? Where are you going? As you can see, the octopi like to eat crab and razor clams and anything else that comes along. There's actually a scallop there off to the right. You can see there's a couple more rock, uh, copper rockfish. Just chilling. The Fish Reef Project is a solution-based project. There's so much fear out there about the environmental situation and very few solutions. The Fish Reef Project is solution-based. We're turning empty seafloor into thriving marine ecosystems that are full of life, as you can see. We're providing more opportunity for fish to reach breeding age. You can go to the nearby uh, Hendry's Reef on the inside uh, the bottom is actually very nice, uh, big uh, ledges, but you will see almost no rockfish like this. Very few scallops. There's a vermilion, a red snapper, very important commercial and sport uh, species. Now we're going to go up the kelp stock. Up and up and up. And there's snails growing on the very tippy top. And what do you see? That is a boccaccio. We used to call those salmon grouper as a kid. They don't look like salmon or grouper, and they certainly don't taste like salmon or grouper. But about a decade ago, they were listed as a recovering species. So it's wonderful to see that one has come in and made its home, not only on the reef ball, but on the kelp that grows above the reef ball. So it's actually utilizing the kelp in its earliest days as a kelp-based ecosystem. There's over 500,000 reef balls in 70 countries, and these are the first two to be put in California. I'm trying to chase this Boccaccio away. I'm trying to scare him. And what does he do? He circles back and he goes to his home. Where's your home, Mr. Boccaccio? Where's your home? Apparently his home and the home of all those Johnny Bass or all of Rockfish is right in the middle of that reef ball. And he goes back up to kelp stock. The Fish Reef Project is a nonprofit that is working to help ocean life thrive, and we need the support of everyone to be able to create our master reef, which will be made of at least 1,200 reef balls of various sizes. This is a top down shot. There's starfish all over it. 
Now Picaccio just really loves the reef ball. And we are here we are headed back up. And here's a layout of what the master reef will look like. And after three years, after sitting on the sea floor, you can see that it will look like this based on the test balls that were put down. Lots of forage ground for marine mammals and birds and everything else. And in the tropics, reef balls are widely used uh, for coral restoration. And in some places, corals are in trouble. Like in Indonesia, you can see they did a great job restoring their corals in this one particular place.